Hey guys, needlessly to say, if you ask most people, do they think taxes are going to go up, stay about the same, or go down? What do you think they say? Most people are saying, James, they're going up. <laughs> this, I don't see no other way, it's going up. Well, if taxes are going to go up and you're looking to retire, we want to have a conversation about taxes, retirement, and Roth conversions. Stick around. You're going to enjoy this one. Welcome to All About Others, where you can learn financial tips, tricks, and loopholes from holistic financial planners like myself. Hi, my name is James Laster, Master of Education and Master Financial Planner of Laster Financial Consultants. If the content you see is valuable and you want to support this channel, click the subscribe button. And remember that though it may be hard, proper planning makes execution easier. You know, when we're talking about a conversion or a Roth conversion, many people understand that a Roth IRA is basically an account that is tax-free, tax-deferred, right? The money that's inside of a Roth IRA, the taxes have already been paid on those dollars, right? And you want to make sure that you're not getting taxed twice for those same dollars. So with that being said, if you have a retirement account, at some point in time, you're going to want to make a withdrawal from that account. And what happens when you withdraw from that account? You have to pay taxes, right? So right now in an all time low tax environment, is it in your best interest to start considering a Roth conversion? Let's get after it. Now, a Roth conversion in its most simplistic form is just understanding that you're going to consider paying taxes on your retirement accounts today rather than waiting till tomorrow, okay? So how to best explain this is that most of us, when we got our first job, we were instructed, make sure that you save inside that company's 401k, 403b, 457, TSP, or if you are a federal employee. And when you go to retire, you will be in a lower tax bracket, so that's when you will touch your money. Well, in today's aspect and from today's perspective, once again, do you think your taxes will be higher or lower in retirement? Most people will agree that they think that their taxes will be higher. So I want to share with you strategic Roth implementation strategies uh, based off uh, this case study right here. Okay. Now, who is this for? Anybody with a retirement account. If you got an IRA, 401k, 403b, any pre-tax accounts, you have a problem, right? You have a tax problem. You got a huge tax problem. No matter how you slice the pie, you have a problem. Now, if you have a problem, you have a couple options. And some of those options that many of you are looking at is, hey, should I continue to be making contributions right now or should I be converting right now? Okay, let's think about that. Why are you contributing right now? Well, the reason for most people to contribute so they can get a tax deduction and so that their money can grow tax-free, right? Should you be contributing right now and get a tax deduction or should you be converting right now up to uh, the top of your tax bracket? Should you be converting right now, okay? That's the huge difference. If you're converting right now, well, you're paying taxes on dollars, so it doesn't make sense to be contributing because you're not getting... You see what I'm saying? You're not getting that tax uh, a deduction. It doesn't make sense. It's weird, right? Okay, so this is the basic conversion strategy, right? Um, you've been contributing to your your, your uh, uh, pre-tax accounts, okay? But then you decide, okay, you want to convert to a Roth IRA. You want to start paying taxes on that account 
Maybe you can maintain that account. Maybe you have to take dollars out of that account to, uh, and there's many different options that you have right there. Uh, but in this most simplistic form, uh, go ahead and start converting. It makes sense for a lot of people, right? And why would you do it? Because you are afforded the chance to have long-term tax benefits, long-term tax benefits, meaning that when you're in the midst of your retirement days, you're not getting taxed on that money that you save. You've already paid the government off. Uh, I, I always find it funny when I'm talking to clients and uh, they, they tell me that, you know, they are debt free. They're so happy that they are debt free. They uh, have paid off all the credit cards, paid off all their cars, their house is paid off. And they come and they say they are debt free. And I, I, I laugh. I said, well, your biggest debt hasn't been paid. I said, well, James, what do you mean? That money you have in that account, you, you, you haven't paid your debt to the IRS and they are going to get their money. <laughs> I want you to think about that for a moment, right? So just consider it like before 2017 on a $200,000 Roth conversion, right? Um, the taxes due, that was $56,000, right? The estimated tax savings, if you do it now in these all time low tax rates or right, these tax brackets, um, this is about a $12,000 savings. So if you did it now, only $44,000 of taxes would be due. <laughs> Folks, that's a $36,000 savings. All right. That's a 20% coupon. <laughs> Come on, guys. Who's excited? A 20% coupon on converting your tax dollars. <laughs> who's with me? All right, let me calm down. Let me calm down. Look, folks, all I'm trying to illustrate is that you can have more control. Right, you can. I know a lot of people want to own things, but it's more important to be able to control things, right? And you can control your retirement better with tax free growth, you can control your retirement better with a tax free to heirs, right? When you pass away, you, you, you want your, your kids and your grandkids, and your family to love you, not be upset with you because they got a huge tax bill, right? Um, and when you convert your dollars over, there's no government mandate requiring that you take required minimum distributions. Okay. There's no requirement right now. The requirement is age 72. Okay. So thank you so much uh, uh, for understanding the simple fact that many people are going to pay through their nose in taxes, both now and when they retire. But a smart and savvy few will pay far less. The question you got to ask yourself, which one do you want to be? Which one do you want to be? Okay. I share with you that there are going to be taxes on your social security benefits. There's going to be stealth taxes on your Medicare. Right? There's going to be taxes on your IRAs and your 401ks and your pensions. And those are all based upon how much have you not paid taxes on? So I want to encourage many of you to consider a Roth conversion. Start thinking about it now. We don't know when we will ever see these all time low tax rates. Look, I want to thank you for being a part of this Roth conversion conversation. Um, if you learned something new, uh, please, by all means, like this video and share it with your family, friends, and community members. But more importantly, there are many folks that are listening right now. There's some things that you knew already. And there were things that you know that you didn't know. But more importantly, there are things you didn't know that you didn't know. If you are in that category, we invite you to reach out to us by calling 877-8LASSER, option one, or more importantly, go to our website and book an appointment with us. Because remember, that though it may be hard, Proper planning makes execution easier. Be well.